It's Carabao Cup final day, but before that, yeah, we're going to find out who we face in the next round of the Europa League. Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Dreaming is Possible here with Chesterfield and like I said yes we're going to find out our next opponent in the knockout stage of the Europa League we've got obviously the teams now that have dropped down from the Champions League in this so it gets a lot tougher doesn't it like from this stage forward and obviously we've got the Carabao Cup that's what we're going to be doing against Liverpool today and um, we're up against them yet again um, we've played them in the FA Cup final before we've not played them in the Carabao Cup final before though the last one we played was against Arsenal which we got battered 4-0 didn't we um, but there we go will we get battered today hopefully not hopefully we can put in a, a decent performance the other downside is that Richard Wyatt unfortunately for you Richard have picked up a broken leg and you're going to be out for the next five to six months so that's your season done which is a massive shame um, but there we are anyway let's find out who we get now in the next round of this so we see Chelsea v Sevilla Schalke Porto Salzburg, Sociedad, Valencia, Spartak, Bayern, Zenit, Leverkusen. Is us. We're playing Bayer Leverkusen. That's who we're up against. Roma plays Dortmund. Lazio will play RB Leipzig. So, hmm. I, I, I don't know. Uh, it could have been a lot worse, could have been a lot better, uh, I suppose. But yeah, there's some there's some big teams in there. Like, I don't know, to be honest, looking at those teams that are in there, who I would have liked to have gotten. Uh, I think Leverkusen is a middling kind of side, isn't it? It's not it's at, the, at, the, at the top, you know, you'd, you'd probably put like Dortmund, Roma up there. That's going to be a hell of a tie. Um you put Bayern, definitely. You'd say Bayern would probably, and Chelsea, you know, those sort of teams there. They're, well, then again, Chelsea are having a bit of a poor season at the moment. They're doing all right in this, obviously, but they're having a bit of a poor season. But yeah, you'd say Bayern, and the fact that Bayern and Dortmund, it's, the fact that like three big German sides are in here, I mean, and Leipzig, I suppose, four. Four of their big sides are all in the in the Europa League. That's mad. They, they must have got none in the like Champions League now. But that is mad. But yeah, you'd see Bayern was definitely the favourites for this for this trophy um, now. Um, yeah, so Leverkusen, we'll see. We'll see how that goes, don't we? That's another episode. Let's see now how we do against... I'm not going to be biased, even though obviously I do support Liverpool. But yeah, I'm not, it's going to be... I want to win this trophy, you know what I mean? Like, so um, here we go. So here are the two teams lining up here for Wembley. I'm going to go with the 4-3. I know it's a bit like, you know, yeah, you're going... I'm, I'm going to go for the 4-3-3 uh, for this one. I was like, I'm in horror over what sort of formation to go. And I thought, no, I'm going to go for this. You know what I mean? Let's see, let's... Let's give it like three strikers. Let's go for it. Like, I mean, why not? Like, at the end of the day, we're underdogs. You know, we've got nothing to lose. Let's let's really go for it. Um, as for for Liverpool, they're going with the four two three one formation. But yeah, the lineup for us is Timo Horn is going to be in goal. I'm sorry, Rodolfo, but it's it's such a big trophy, and I. I I'd be like gutted if I played you and and you like maybe like let a couple of goals in it that Horn could maybe save. It's I I know I'm sorry, but um, Cruz, Bucci, Rifi, and Clay um, are the back four. Ben Clay now, um, Drea and Neto are in the middle, and then obviously our three strikers Charlie Viscoggin and Appleby. As for Liverpool, Allison is in goal. Gomez, Van Dijk, they've got. Matt Clark, who obviously was our player, um, Liverpool obviously signed him from us. He's playing against us. Astia's there. We've got Milinkovic, Savic, Kavinga. They've got some um, impressive players. Kylian Mbappe, um, Brewster's up top. Lainez um, out on the on the right hand side. Jinchenko is playing very versatile, like player. He's kind of like um, a younger version of James Milner, I suppose. He can play in like so many different positions and stuff. You know what I mean? But there we go. Um, it's all or nothing. You know what I mean? We've got to give it everything we can. Can, can we come away with it? Are we going to get absolutely battered? Let's find out. So Wembley um, awaits and sees how we go. Like I mean, we've been here a couple of times. We've done pretty well to get here. As Clay puts this one in, are we going to get us to a good start? Um, Alison Becker there, like collects it. I mean, we've, we have done this before. Like when we played them in the league, didn't we? We got off to a good start and then they came back and battered us 4-1, didn't they? Here goes Lainez now, like as he surges forward. Can we stop him from getting the cross in? No, he's picked up um, Savage on the edge of the box, finds Kavinga back here to Astia. He's got a challenge in, he's just rammed right past us, and Horn, luckily for us, has managed to grab that one. Astia caused his problems like last time, and there's nothing I can do about it. He's too. Qu what can you do about him? Like, apart from like 
just break his leg, which is, I don't condone doing on any player leg, but it's just it's just mad. Clay now, Oli Clay that is, plays this one all the way back here to Cruz. He needs to be a bit quicker. I don't know why he was like walking back there. That was just a bit worrying. Bucci now under pressure. Why are we like doing this? Why are we like just dawdling about at the back here? It's worrying like why we're doing that. I don't know why we're doing that. It's bizarre. Um it's just it's just making me very, very nervous when we're just like playing it around too casually at the back and they played this through. It's Mbappe now with a chance. Cruz managed to dispossess him when we're just hitting it, hopefully, to get to find someone. We're not actually like finding anyone, we're just hitting it away, like just into open space really, rather than actually trying to find a blue shirt. They've had to like go all the way back. So a little good, a bit, good pressure from us, but they found Joe Gomez and he's in. Lainez is through, and another good save from Horn. But unfortunately, Mbappe was quick because um, Cruz decided he just wants to be really slow. I don't know why he's being like that. I don't know. Um, he knows the importance of the game, and he just seems to be uh, blasé about the whole situation um, I don't know if the occasions got to him but he needs to be quicker to that I mean I know Mbappe's quick but you've got, he had the like, he had the run on him and he just stopped so we get to half time it is only 1-0 I suppose that is something considering they've had 19 shots um, <laughs> we just knew it was going to be tough but it's just it's just uh, the way that they scored that goal was just, uh, it's off putting because it's not like it was a really well cracked for goal all that, all that Cruz had to do was just like put it out for a corner that's all he had to do like you know i mean they might have scored from the corner but at least it's something um i mean we've had a couple of a few attempts but yeah i don't know how we're gonna we just gotta hope and get a lucky penalty show or something i don't know how it's gonna happen so second half i've just basically i've, I've kind of bollocked them a bit just basically saying like you know play better um because you're not at the moment and you can play better but whether we'll, we'll do anything i don't know so Liverpool now working this from the back find um, Kylian Mbappe goes over the top here to try and find Brewster and Arifi now what are we do why do we, why are we like I don't know why we're playing like that it's just bizarre like you know it's like why are we like being like so blasé at the back it's just it's, I don't understand why our defenders are doing that it's like can they not see like you know the, the urgency of like not keeping hold of it because Liverpool will punish us Astia now, as he surges forward. We've got to get a challenge on him. Come on, somebody. Not in the box, though. <sighs> Man. What? Right, we're getting stuck in. So, changing the formation. Not happy with it. A um, couple of changes. Obviously, Ben Clay's not been playing particularly well, so he's going to come off. Keener's going to come on for him. Verscoggin's going to come off um, as well. And Ollie Watkins is going to come on. And we're going to play that formation, um, as you can see there. So we are only one nil down. I'm hoping with this change of formation, um, it doesn't like punish us and we end up like losing two or three. I'm hoping that we can get back into this game by like changing the formation. Neto has now just picked up a uh, Martin Neto. That is, has just picked up a knock. So we'll change that in a minute. It's Ollie Clay has just scored a fantastic free kick. I thought that that was straight at Becker, Alison Becker, but somehow it's managed to get in. And um, Ollie Clay has just put us one all. What a free kick! How has he not saved that? Just, wow. Um, I don't understand how he's not saved that. So, Unkunku is going to come on for the injured um, Martim Neto. Um, and, I, wow, um, yeah, we're we're back in this game. I said it would be like a free kick or a penalty or something. Well, there we go. Um, we've managed to get it from a free kick, but it's not over yet because here come Liverpool now as um, Savic has just like laid this one across. It's a chance for Joe Gomez, and I think he hit the outside of the post then. But we could be taking this to penalties. Could could we're doing better than what we normally do against liverpool let's put it that way horn plays this out no one's picked up keener he's in acres of space here in this midfield he's gone for it but mm, wasn't the best of efforts and becker's gonna allison becker there just able to just keep that in plays this one out here to lanez and a great challenge from Ollie Clay. He's having a great game. Referee was getting in the way of Keener there. Keener now plays this out here to Ollie Watkins. Ollie Watkins, oh, just needed to find someone in the box. A reef here now, down the line. Here goes Ollie Clay. Plays it inside, finds Dreyer. Back to him. Ollie Clay will get man of the match if he finds someone here. And, oh, I thought he had. And, oh, Watkins. Thought it was there. I thought he, oh, it fell to him and I thought it was a chance there. 
Horn now plays this out. We've got loads of space in this midfield. I don't know why Liverpool have suddenly opened up in this midfield. Unconku now finds Ollie Watkins. We're going for this now. Charlie Lawrence is into the box. Can he pick somebody out? What's he doing? Why is he trying to do it all himself? All he did he do is pick someone out? There's a chance and Ollie Klein nearly headed it in. Oh my God, what a story that would have been. I just don't understand why what Charlie Lawrence did there. He was trying to walk it into the net and he could have just picked someone out. And Drea now is dispossessed. The captain now plays the ball forward. Great chance for Ahobi. Oh, what a challenge from Van Dyke. Oh, man. Declan Rice now puts this one forward. It's, it's just end to end stuff now at the end of the game. Oh, what a challenge from Arifi on, on Brewster. Oof, that was a last ditch challenge and he could have given a penalty. We're into like the 92nd minute here. There's a chance here for Liverpool, but Lawrence gets there, heads it away. It's going to come back here to Astia. Astia now, he still got to the ball. He's going to play this one across to find Brewster. Felipe Cruz is there. Matt Clark now, our ex player, plays it down the line, but that's the end of the highlight. And I think we're going. Does it go straight to penalties or does it go to extra time in the, in the final? Extra time, I think, in the final. I'm trying to think now. But we've really come into it. I mean, the amount of shots, unfortunately, not a lot of them on target, but yeah, we, we've given Liverpool a game. Like, I mean, to be fair, they've not had that many on target out of the amount, amount that they've had. Right, I'm going to bring Garber on because Appleby penalties is eight. It's an eight, you know what I mean? Um, you'll, you'll just see here, like, um, you just see it just uh, wrong way. Oh, I can't even point. Just there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but um, and, and pro, um, Garbron, that's the only reason I brought Garbron is not because he's a good at penalties, it's just that uh, he's not and he's tired. That's the, the, the other re, re, uh, main reason. Uh, Ollie Clay, Cruz, both tired. Uh, uh, yeah, I um, could be a risk, but let's see what happens. Astia now with the throw. Savic plays this one back here to Clark. Clark goes over the top, finds Matthews, heads it down, intercepted by Unkunku. Garber now lays it into Drea, finds Unkunku. Can we work this away? Drea now finds Keener. Can he get the right place? He's going for the middle. Keener's still going. He's going for... Oh, what's he doing? Why has he done that? Uh, I hate it when they do that, you know? They've got opportunities and they just bloody don't take them. Keener now, this is the final opportunity. As Keener surges forward, he's get dispossessed. Garbado picks it up. Can we get a ball into the... Can we find someone? Why Why can't they just cross a ball to a player? Why did he always hit it at, like, you know, the defender that stood right in front of them? Cruz now with the throw-in. Unkunku, Cruz, oh, just hits it straight at the... There's a player right in front of you. Why are you trying to cross it, like, you know... Cruz, I'm getting so frustrated because we can... It's within... Uh, our chance to like win this cruise now come on oh and he's just thrown it to what was the point in that highlight god right penalties mm, not good um not good at all <laughs> I'm gone for, oh, jesus they're not good on penalties are they and um, the composure is pretty good but yeah they're all sort of tens and elevens and stuff in there like but so here we go as Rain Rainier, Rain Rain Rainier, Rainier um, steps up and puts it in the bottom corner. Keenan out for us. Please don't miss. Good penalty. Good penalty there. Great. Sends the keeper the wrong way. Savic now. Milinkovic, Savic uh, stands up. Come on, Timo. Oh, yes. Has he saved that? Yes. What a save! That was bizarre. Okay. Drea now, captain. Come on. Lead by example. Oh, and he's at the post. Oh, we had a chance and the captain's at the post. Matthews now for Liverpool. Can't see him missing. No, didn't think so. After such a great save from Timo Horn and then Drea goes and does that. Right, Charlie Lawrence now. Come on, Charlie. You know you can do this. Get in. Good penalty from Charlie. Nice. Lainez now. Come on, Timo. No. No. Good penalty. And Kunku now. I don't know. Don't know how they, I've got a feeling. This is a bit nervy. Come on. Oh, just gets it in. Allison went the right way, but he gets it in. Oh, former player. Come on, do us a favour, Matt. Come on. Matt Clark steps up. Please miss it. Please. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, what's that about? 
Could have done us a favour there. Pressure time now. Pressure time. Pat Garber. Got a score. And does do. Ooh, okay. Makes it 4-4. This is where we're down to nitty gritty time as Gineppo steps up. Not sure who he is. But a save! Oh! Timo Horn saved it! Now the pressure is massively on who... Who is it? Who is it? Not pressure. Is it, well, it's not the pressure. He, he can win it. Who can win? Who's coming up here? I can't see. He's behind the like, thing. Ollie Watkins. Come on, Ollie. You've got the chance to give us our first huge major trophy right now. Ollie Watkins to give us the Carabao Cup. He steps up against Alison Becker and scores. We've won the Carabao Cup. Yeah! Oh, yes. It's there. Oh, wow. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Against all odds, um, we've done it. And Timo Horn, has, you've got to take your hat off to it. A couple of saves in there. Like, can't believe our durability at the post. We, we could have had that sewn up a little bit earlier. But two great saves in there from Timo Horn. From, and as we see the players walking around Wembley, taking it all in. I, Ollie Clay, man of the match. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, that free kick was just, wasn't just a free kick. You just, it was just so many different things he was doing. And um, yeah, wow. Um, I can't believe we've just won the Carabao Cup, guys. And um, that is awesome. That is so good. Uh, even if we don't finish in a European spot, we're in the European tournament for next season anyway. But we should we should still finish in, in a European spot. But wow. So there it is. Chesterfield win. <sighs> Unbelievable. Um, absolutely madness. Like, um, I, can't, I can't believe we've actually done it. We've actually done it. We've got ourselves one of the big trophies. I mean, I know it's not big like in 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 but to the the stature of our club. This is this is huge. This is a huge trophy to win um for for, for a, team, a team of our stature like, you know what I mean? And hopefully that like now will springboard us and into more and more success we can we can you know, hopefully keep the likes of Appleby cuz you know, we can say to him like, look, if you stay here we can win silverware do you know what i mean i'm hoping that that is something that you can see yeah that's probably going to be in the next episode by leverkusen uh, we won't play liverpool because we played them in today so we'll probably play bournemouth to be honest so um, you won't see the norwich fa cup game hopefully we win that it's only two days until we play that so we're going to have some tired players but i don't care if we get knocked out of that to be honest I know it sounds weird because we've won the we've already won this, you know what I mean? So but yeah, Bournemouth um and, and Bayer Leverkusen will probably be in the next episode, guys. You take it easy. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new, what a time to like join, what a time to come into the channel if you are new. Go on, hit that subscribe button, guys, and see what else we can win. And um yeah, I'll catch you next time. It's Dave from Moomonga Gaming signing off. Cheers.